What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Evil1, and we are playing the new playthrough of this game since the latest update uh, kind of gorked our, our original playthrough. As you see down here, it is December 9, 1912, so a little bit of time has passed between now and the previous episode. Not a lot has changed, but some things have changed, and we'll get to that in just a second. Before I do, if you like this content, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And remember to hit that bell notification so you never miss an episode. And if for some reason you feel inclined to hit that thumbs down button, please do me the favor of adding a comment below. Let me know what I can do to improve. I'd greatly appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's get into the game. So as we left off the last episode, we were down here trying to get um, this region right here under our control, and we did not have the shipping to do it. Well, as you can see, I was able to actually pull that off. I, I failed that mission, but it popped right back up again, just in time for some new ships to be constructed. Brought them down here. Now Haiti is in the same, same thing, so we have a chance to succeed 100%. We also have the same thing going on way over here on the island of Vantu. Way over here, Vanatu. I'm also bringing in some destroyers from Guam to help out here. We have a couple of cruisers, I believe, from the island of Pearl Harbor. Or, you know, Pearl Harbor. The island, it's on Oahu Island. Anyway, let's take a look at what else we have. So we have the Caribbean. Uh, Russia is now the Soviet Union. And they still call themselves Russia. Well, I guess it's Soviet Union. In the politics tab, they still call them Russia, I think. Anyway, um, so yeah, they overthrew the government, and now they're at war with... Oh, I forget who they're at war with. With the also Hungarian Empire. We'll get to the politics tab in just a minute. We also have Guam and uh, the Philippines here. Nothing has really changed as far as our territories go. All right. Come back to the United States. Let's check that politics tab. The British Empire is on top, followed by France, then Germany. But here is the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and they are at war with the entire world, except for us. And I don't, I don't know why. I mean, they hate us too. They, they just, yeah. I guess uh, Germany here is they're friends with Germany and China, of all things. Surprisingly, we are no longer on the bottom. Spain is now on the bottom. Uh, and again, I don't know the metric on how this is actually ranked, but this is our our stats here. We have an active fleet of 41 ships. We're building 18, and uh, we have three battleships now, 10 heavy cruisers, 11 light cruisers, and 17 destroyers. So, yeah, there's the rest of our stats. Pop over to finances. We're actually in the black, and I'm trying to keep us in the black. We have the crew training cranked. Everything is cranked way up. We're going through our second uh, iteration of the uh, shipyard size here. And we have that much, $1.4 billion for our naval funds. Research, not a lot has changed. We've gotten some things through. I did put a priority in submarine hulls. Uh, I, if I remove it, it doesn't really change anything. But I really want this to be done sooner rather than later. I really want to build a submarine. Ship design. Nothing has changed since the last episode. The fleet, things have changed. We have built a lot of ships now, and we're building some more. We have the two new battleships being built. We have several different destroyers and then several heavy uh, cruisers. I was actually in the process of uh, building some more light cruisers, um, but I decided to halt that in favor of bringing up our, our naval funds a little bit. We can build more of these, these Fury class light cruisers uh, in just a little while. I just want to stay in the black as long as possible. Maybe when these uh, destroyers are done being built, we can jump over and, and do those light cruisers. Okay, so that's about it. Everything is just kind of status quo. I mean, there's nothing major really going on other than our conquest here in Haiti and our conquest in Vanatu which should be wrapping up here real soon. It's next turn. All right, we're going to get a whole bunch of pop-ups that don't have anything to do with us. So I'm 
pretty much going to ignore them. So we're just going to go through them pretty quick. Oh, we got the light cruiser design. Yay. Yeah, see, like, here's all the ships damaged by mines. That has nothing to do with us. Transport losses. Oh, um, British tried uh, improving relationship with us, but it failed. All right, we got control of Vanatu. Yay. We lost 115 soldiers uh, in Haiti compared to their... 1145 all right january 1913 we now have the island of we have port villa on the island of vanatu right on i'll probably forget all about it it's way over here on the edge how's this conquest looking 100 percent three of five perfect we have a massive fleet here let's i brought down everybody two battleships a whole bunch of heavy cruisers a couple of light cruisers and a whole bunch of destroyers yeah we roll we rolled big on that all right there it is. What to do, what to do. I think the thing I'm going to do first is take these. Uh, I'm going to bring, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to move these ships back over here. I pulled them from Guam. I'm going to move them back to Guam. But I, I brought over the Anderson and the Henley, John D. Henley. But I'm going to bring the cruiser San Diego and the Anderson back. The other two ships, can, they can stay there. I don't think it's hurt anything. I just want to maintain a large presence in the Philippine Sea area, just in case anything kicks off here. Uh, I am building more ships in these ports as well. Just trying to maintain my my foothold, I guess, uh, over here in the Philippines. Politics, nothing's really changed. You see there, Austro-Hungarians, they're still at war with the entire world. Finances coming up. Research, nothing has changed. Submarine holes in three months. Right on. What is it, though? Coastal submarine. Yay. We're going to build a submarine. At least I hope we're going to build a submarine. All right, ship design. Nothing has changed. And fleet. Nothing has really changed. We're just still building a bunch. There we go. So, nothing to really do. But next turn. All right. Here we go again. February 1913. And there's our armored, advanced armored citadel. Yay. British Empire. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Close. Transport losses. Yay. 100, we lost 130 soldiers. Those are their 1144. There we go. One more turn to go there. Chance to succeed 100%. And we will have the that entire island. Looking around here, those ships are almost back to Guam. Yeah. Nothing has really changed. Like, we are kind of boring at the moment. I really wish we had some of these minor allies... Uh, that way we can actually be selling some ships and building them for them and getting more money so we could build more ships faster. You know, we take a look at some of these these countries, 140 ships for France, who is now on top, by the way, and 88 for the British Empire. Um, Germany's only got 36, but they're also at war, right? Yeah, and they're at war with the USSR and Japan, so... We have a measly 41 ships, and 17 of which are just, just destroyers. I'd like to build some some ships and walk with a very big stick. We can't do that yet. We're getting there. We're getting some money. Research, not a lot should have changed. We've got two months to go on that, and we're going to hopefully build a submarine. Ship design, nothing has changed. Fleet, nothing has changed, I am sure. Oh. We got some that are going to be commissioning next month, all these destroyers. So that's great news. All right. So the only thing to do again, hit that next turn button. All right. Here we go again. March 1913. Ooh. Spanish Empire ships damaged by mines. Okay. Transport losses. Conquered. Uh, they conquered Morocco. Good on them. Venezuela canceled the alliance with the Chinese Empire. Okay. Victory. United States controls Haiti. Nice. There we go. So now Haiti is ours, and we have a major uh, presence here in the Caribbean. That is great news. Okay. Let's check the politics tab really quick. We're still second from the bottom. Nothing's changed. Like, we're just kind of floating by. I don't know how, how else to explain it. Since those ships were uh, commissioned, we are now getting a lot more per turn, uh, adding it to our naval funds. That is awesome. Research. Let's check our submarines. We got one month to go on that. That is great news. Ship design. Nothing has changed. 
fleet. The only thing that's changed now is these destroyers are now sitting in their ports and we are now waiting. Got seven more months for these heavy for these heavy cruisers, almost called them carriers. And we got 12 months, a full year before these two battleships are done. Submarines, of course, we don't have anything yet. Okay, I'm going to leave my fleet there for just one more turn and we're not going to build anything for another turn just because we're going to be doing submarines, I hope. Next turn. All right. Go through these. Here we go. Torpedo Contact Exploder 3. Yay. Coastal Submarine. The SSC uh, class submarine featuring 3X bow torpedo tubes, 3X machine guns, and dual diesel electric engines. New hulls available. Coastal Submarine Type 4. Perfect. Okay. And then no transport losses for us. Shouldn't be any anyway. The Netherlands canceled its alliance with the Chinese Empire. Okay. Soviet Union failed to gain control of Latvia. All right. Politics, nothing has changed. Like, straight up, nothing has really changed. Uh, Austro-Hungarian is still at war with the world. And we're pretty much neutral with everyone. Looking at this, maybe the Soviet Union can stand a little friendly influence here. Let's try and improve relations with them. Finances, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Research, let's pull this out of there. There we go. Ship design. Okay, let's try and build a submarine. New design. Okay, where would it be? I'm not seeing the design for a submarine. Is this something I can design? Maybe it's not something I can design, I just buy it. Well, since I'm not seeing the whole type, <laughs> that must be the case, right? So, let's exit. So the only other thing I know to do is to come over here to Submarines tab. And yeah, build. Oh, here we go. Outstanding. So looks like the ocean going submarines is a SC class submarine. Two bow torpedo tubes, two storm torpedo tubes, one machine gun. It displaces 682 tons and 5 million piece. We have coastal submarine. I did not know this was all here. This is excellent. We have a mine laying submarine. Right, let's build a couple of these coastal submarines. Select. We'll build. Oh, let's build five of them. There we go. And just for funsies, let's build a couple of these ocean-going submarines. Let's build three of them. Cool. Now I'm going to set the ports for these. All right, there we go. So I set them to be one of these ocean-going ones in Boston. So Atlantic, Pacific, and then the Asian Theater. And then these coastal ones, again, the Asian Theater, Pearl, uh, San Diego, West Coast, and then two on the East Coast. So there we go. Hopefully those will be done well, in seven turns. That is excellent. All right. Politics. I did not know those exist. I thought I was all excited to build a submarine. That is what it is. All right. We have 52 ships now. Let's check our finances really quick. We're down a little bit. Let's build some of these light cruisers. I was mentioning the Fury class. Here we go. Build ship. Let's build. Let's build 10 of them. All right. Building 10 of them. And I'll set their ports as well. All right. We've got their ports all set. Now I'm. Now we're doing good. We're doing great. Let's see how many ships we actually have. 52 and 25 building. Perfect. Finances. Now we're in the hole. I figured as much. We kind of went a little overboard, but that's the cost of doing business. All right. Next turn. All right. We got uh, some training on the rangefinder. That's great. Transport losses. Um, Mexico signed with the British Empire. Our efforts to improve relations with the Soviet Union have failed. And they went up against the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. Canada has canceled an alliance with the British Empire. There we go. I mean, I wouldn't mind Canada as being one of my minor uh, allies. That'd be great. As well as Mexico. But Mexico just signed with uh, Britain. Not to worry. So yeah, things are definitely kicking off here in the European theater for sure. Let's take a look at that really quick. We'll scroll up to the top. Wow. France and... The Soviet Union, they are best friends, and we're right there with them. Soviet Union, yeah. British Empire, they're friendly with just about everyone. That's great. Chinese Empire is mostly neutral. Germany is actually at war with Japan. I find that surprising. <laughs> Italy is mostly friendly. Japan is mostly friendly. And then the Austro-Hungarian, once again, just hates everyone. In the United States, we're mostly friendly with just about everyone. So finances starting to come down a little bit. Research, nothing's major is happening. Ship design. I think I'm going to pay really close attention to this year 
my last playthrough, I was just like, oh, I think I should come up with a refit. I'm thinking maybe once every, at most, 10 years, we will refit. We'll we'll add the new technology to the whole, t- whole type, I think. It might be better uh, to do like every five years, but it probably takes a while to get that done. So I'm thinking every 10 years. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How often should we redesign or refit one of our ships? All right. Fleet, nothing is really changing here. Those battleships are being built. And then, of course, all of our cruisers being built as well. Come to the world. Just so... Oh, let's get our fleet. We will move... Let's put them in Charleston. We'll move a couple of ships from each class. There we go. Then the other ones. If I can select the other ones. That's the one that's moving to Charleston. Okay. And I select on the other ships. Okay. Well, when they move, the other ship should be the left there. I'll put them in another port as well. We're not going to go journeying across the the Pacific or the uh, uh, the Atlantic here until we actually have allies we can refuel and and stuff like that at. So nothing to do but uh, hit the next turn. All right, well, the Swedes uh, canceled their alliance with the British Empire. That's great. Um, Boar has defeated the remnants of the British Empire. Oh, cool. Orange Free State. I don't know where that is. Boar? All right. Uh, German Empire gains control of Liberia. Wow. Cool. All right, and continue. So Liberia down here. Uh, oh, it's over here. Here we go. Monrovia, Liberia. There's that is. I wonder where... Bor is Bior. I'm just kind of looking around. Unfortunately, I don't even know what their flag looks like. So, yeah. No clue where that is. I'm not going to waste much time looking for it either. Alright, there's a submarine. I just noticed that a little icon. That's kind of cool. Neat. I like it. Which tells me, too, maybe I should be building destroyers capable of detecting and sinking submarines politics oh we're, we're moving up we're now third that's great i think the only reason why we're moving up is because these countries are getting their butts kicked by the other world powers finances negative 50 million that's a that's an ouch our research tab here nothing has really changed here we got armor forging coming up pretty soon control station and then range finders after that that's great turret mechanisms are close so we got uh, the anti-submarine and underwater acoustics and naval communications as well. So next couple of turns, we're going to be making some major leaps in our research here. Ship design, nothing has changed. And our fleet, let's check it. Still got four turns before these cruisers come online. Actually five because they take a month to commission. So let's go to uh, July. All right. We've got the high tensile steel. Negative 6% to armor weight of all types. That is great. We have triple large turns. We got three barrels now for the main guns. Oh, yeah. That's good. Depth charges type 1. Perfect. It's hitting all sorts of mines. Transport losses. We don't have any. And Latvia signed with Spain. The recent uh, provoca- pro- provocations of Chief Admiral Alberto Ac- Acton of the Italian Empire were simply ignored by the United States. Uh, Soviet Union is still going up against the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And here is the army losses. Okay. Our fleet down here as well needs a move, I guess. Kind of forgot about them last last turn. Put them in Nor- Nor- Norfolk? Yeah, why not? Move. There we go. Okay. Yeah, part of me wants to go over here. Like, get up in here and and get into the mediterranean branch out a little bit like i see everybody else their ships are sailing the high seas all of our ships are at port i don't want to spend the fuel to do that i don't have any allies yet so i can't refuel at an unfriendly port not that i really have the ships to spend you know to to take out leaving my ports unprotected so i'm just going to wait for someone to get angry with me it's either going to be the Austro-Hungarians or the Soviets. I'm not really increasing tensions or improving relations last several turns. Finances, negative 47 million. So we're coming along here. Research, got a few things coming up. Notably the control station, rangefinders in two turns, and naval communications next turn. 
Ship design, nothing has changed, obviously. And fleet, three more turns. Next turn. All right, we got advanced towers, four. Yay. Marine VHF radio, two. That's great. France is still running in the mines. And the Austro-Hungarian lost six transport ships. Oh, France is trying to increase uh, relations with us, but they failed. Borders changed. All right. I was thinking while the change was happening, uh, the, the turn was happening, maybe I could scrape together a couple, just a small little task force and just go patrol. And so I think I'm going to do that. We're going to take the San Diego. We're going to move ships first. We're going to take the San Diego and the Anderson from there. Move them. We're going to take the Des Moines. Move ships. There we go. We're going to take the Des Moines and the Minneapolis and the green from there. And what do we have down here? We'll take the Rupertus. There we go. Form a little task force over here. And we'll just kind of see what kind of trouble we can get in, especially up here against uh, the Soviet Union. We do have some German ships out here. Check our politics again. Germany, oh, Germany, uh, we're actually positive with, but the Soviet Union we're negative with, and the Austro-Hungarians we're negative with. Oh, so now I'm kind of torn too, because I'm sending ships into the Philippine Sea. I could assemble the same thing here to go into the Mediterranean to uh, poke the bear, as it were, with uh, the Soviets and the Austro-Hungarians. Try to get into a fight. That's kind of the name of this game, right? But I'm also thinking about, oh, you know what? Stop thinking and just do it. Uh, we're going to take the evil. I'm going to move ships first. We're going to come out here. There we go. Actually, we're just going to take all these. Take all those. I think I'll put those other ones in there. Move ships. We'll leave a couple behind, but not many. There we go. Come up with a little task force. We'll go over here and just kind of float around. Maybe cruise up this way. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Hopefully nothing here kicks off where I need to have a bunch of tonnage. So, yeah. We do have these ships here. Let's put those in port. But they were in port. Perfect. All right. Politics we already took a look at. Finances. I think we already did all this. Yeah. All right. Next turn. At a press conference, journalists questioned the combat ability of the fleet. What is your reply? The fleet is capable at any time to perform the tasks assigned to it. There is a need for additional support from the government to maintain the combat capability of our fleet. Or, we are working on modernizing our fleet so that our navy can soon become the strongest in the world. That option will grant us a little bit to our budget, none to our GDP. Our prestige will go up, but everything else is not good. Alternatively, this one um, doesn't seem all that great either. This is our only real option here. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of... Naval prestige and negative one on our unrest. Which our unrest right now is at zero, and our naval naval prestige is at 48. We have the new stereoscopic rangefinder. Let's see what it does for us. Uh, let's see. It's expensive. It adds a little bit of weight, but we get fast aiming speed. We get a little. We get a boost to our long range accuracy and the interference with splashes of our own guns and and other guns is reduced. That's good. Spain is hitting mines. Venezuela signed with the Germans. I wish one of them would sign with us. Uh, Northern Finland of Finland has been conquered by the Soviet Union. Oh, that's not good. Military conflict. And yes. Okay. So we're going to move this entire thing. Let's just... They went up to Finland. Let us think about wh where to go. Austro-Hungarians are in here. We're going we're gonna to go right here. Move them. There we go. And then this one here. Let's go into the Sea of Japan. There we go. All right. Politics. Nothing has changed. Finances. Negative 46. 76% done with our shipyard technology there. Not much going on with our research. Ship design. Nothing has changed. Fleet. Two months until the next ship is done. Six months until our new two new battleships are done. Submarines. Two months, and then they'll be ready to roll as well. All right. September is coming to an end. Time to go into October. All right. Kazakhstan. Um, oil was discovered. That's great for them. Uh, tensions. Yay. The Mark II 14-inch guns are now available. France is hitting mines. And transport losses. Okay. Military conflict. Um, Portugal people of Cape Verde take up arms against people of Portugal. Okay, great. Arab Arabia, 
Arabia canceled the alliance with the Spanish Empire. Yay. And some army losses from land battles. Perfect. Ship our fleet is halfway across the North Atlantic. This one is now up here in the Sea of Japan, uh, right outside of Vlad. I can never really pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. All right. And a lot going on down here, too. Take a look at our politics tab. That's what we do. We're still in third from the bottom. Still mostly green. Finances we're coming down, so that's great. Research. Nothing really has changed or coming up pretty soon. New cruiser design, maybe. Boilers in five months. Ship designs, nothing has changed. And our fleet, nothing has changed. Oh, except for these are now being commissioned. It's going to take two months to get these heavy cruisers commissioned. I think that's the same time, time frame for the... Uh, battleships as well when they are ready all right submarines looks like the coastal ones are uh gonna be ready here in about a month and the ocean going ones are gonna have a probably a month or two after next turn so speaking of which tensions are rising yay we have the mark three 14 inch guns awesome that's quick uh looks like british uh, the Lord Nelson hit a mine. Transport losses. Argentina signed with the Spanish Empire. Resistance quelled. Defeat. And army losses. Okay. We have our fleet making its way through the, uh, the strait there. And this, this fleet up here is just chilling. We got plenty of fuel. Plenty of ammo. It's not a very big fleet, but it is a fleet. It should irritate the Russians a little bit if they're already irritated with us. That is Vogtstock. Yeah. All right, let's move to here just for fun. I'm trying to increase tensions without increasing tensions. Um, hopefully by us being in their neck of the woods, they'll be irritated with us and push for a conflict. Kind of what I'm hoping. They're at negative 50 now, but if I increase tensions... I run the risk of increasing our own unrest. Our people may not like it that we poke them. So our people want to remain neutral and, and that sort of thing. And, and I want to fight. <laughs> so here is our finances. Uh, monthly balance is negative 37 million. We still have plenty of naval funds, uh, especially when these other ships are done. Here is our research mines are coming up pretty soon ship design nothing has changed fleet we are commissioning these heavy cruisers and oh here they are these two battleships are being built in three more months submarines all right defend that's the only thing i can do oh they are coastal okay so they are set to defend and our other ones will be commissioning in one month. Let's go back in here and take a look. I'm going to try and find one of these. I want to see what I can do with them. Uh, let's find the one in New York. Go to the world. Go to New York. There it is. Move submarine. So we got the circle. I guess that is how far out it can go. You can move submarines inside the radius of, of origin, origin port or to any own port. Okay. Let's bring it down here. There we go. Why? just because I can. <laughs> there's no there's no reason outside of that. I mean, that that's it. All right, politics. Let's improve the relations with the British. And the only reason I'm doing that is because again, I have a fleet over here and I would be really great if I had an ally over here. I'm going to also think about Italy and France becoming my allies. Let's check there. Yeah, we're really close to being allies with them as well. And Italy no, nah, not so much. So if I can become an ally of either France or Great Britain, that'd be good. Okay, only thing to do. Next turn. Majority in the parliament calls for immediate action against the Soviet Union. What is your reaction? Uh, I completely agree. We get a whole bunch of money. I don't know what's going on here. What did they do? <laughs> uh, it is necessary to... for provoke the Soviet Union into attacking us so that the public opinion is on our side. We get a lot of unrest, one naval prestige, and relationships with uh, the Soviet Union goes down. Or, the fleet is not ready for war. It is necessary to increase financing to 
prepare ourselves better. We get a 1% boost, 10, negative 10 naval prestige, and 5 unrest, which is a good thing. Um, I got a feeling if we do this, though, we're going to war, which is exactly what I want. Uh, I don't want the unrest, but our unrest is currently at zero. Screw it, let's do it. Okay, war. War is erupted between the British Empire and the German Empire. That means that the Germans are now don't like us because we like the British. Okay. Oh, war between France and German kicked off. Same reason. Okay. All right, we got some uh, reinforced paravine, paravan. Which uh, gives us which gives us plus six percent to our mine sweeping abilities. That's great. Ships damages by the enemy mines. Soviet Union transport losses. Yay. Relationships unaffected. Bummer. We lost two naval prestige because of that. Military conflict. All right, there we go. Our submarine chilling out here. That's awesome. Let's move it. Kind of bring it up there. There we go. Okay, so it looks like let's go to our politics tab first, um, because Germany is now at war with our two allies we're trying to become allies with. In fact, we're gonna re improve our relationship with France and try and get there. So Germany is now, they they don't like us, but they don't hate us. Not like they do our supposed allies. And the Soviet Union, they really don't like us. But again, not enough to go to war. Finances, we're now at negative two million research. Got a couple of things coming up here pretty soon. Cru a new cruiser design, new, sh new destroyer design in four months, spoilers in three. That's all I'm seeing. Ship design, nothing has changed. Fleet, we have those new cruisers that are sitting in their perspective harbors. These light cruisers are still being built. These submarines, these are ready to roll. Restricted. Okay. I'm going to, can I? Nope. So they can only defend. Okay. But I'm going to send... I'm going to send a couple of them out in the world. Which ones were they? Uh, Boston, Pearl Harbor, and Manila. Okay, cancel. We'll do, we're going to take the one from Boston. We're going to bring it to this fleet here. Nope, I, I can't do that. Oh, uh, escape. Move submarines. There we go. There we go. Be nice to have a submarine with us. Okay, so we'll just chill there. Uh, we have low fuel in some of our, our ships, so that's not good. I'm not allies over here with anybody. I'm not sure about actually getting fuel. I remember I struggled with that on the last playthrough. Actually here in the Mediterranean where I was in here and I had low fuel. I was at a friendly port and I, I think it was up here and I wasn't getting fuel. So I don't know what that's about, but definitely need to keep that in mind. All right. How are we doing on fuel? Getting down there. We'll get up here. We'll... Spend a little bit of time sitting, and we'll come back down to Manila to, to get fueled up. Next turn. Okay, here we go. Relations with the British Empire have reached a point where an ally, an alliance seems possible. Diplomats from the British Empire are asking to sign a special trade agreement, which will not be profitable for our nation, but will strengthen further, will strengthen further our relations. What are your thoughts? That's going to be expensive. That's half of our funds. You know, I wanted this, and I forgot that they demand a hefty paycheck. And while I like the British Empire, I, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, we have the advanced battle cruiser. Great. Uh, okay, close. Transport losses. Okay, new sea passage. Panama Canal. Yay. All right. Click through a couple of those. We got. We we own this canal, so um, people should be friendlier to us, I guess. Uh, close. What is this? Okay. I think that ship just kind of went out there on its own, I guess. I'm not sure. So what I was saying was, let me actually, let me go back to the world tab. In here, France has ports that we can use if we are their ally. Uh, Britain only has ports up here. So I'd rather be friendly with, um, with France inside of here. Uh, the Mediterranean instead of if I had to choose between the two because this is where my ships are currently and they need fuel so let us oh I can't improve with them anymore 
Darn it. And we're down. We got knocked down a peg with the British Empire, but that's okay. Yeah. Finances. Hey, we're back in the black. That's great. Research. Things are coming up. We got some torpedo tubes coming. Ship design. Nothing has changed. Uh, what year is it? It is 1914. So I'm thinking maybe every five years. It seems like we're getting a lot of technology. And so maybe every five years, we'll just plan on doing a refit. If we can, that is. Our fleet, nothing should have changed. Uh, one more month and they start their sea trials. They're commissioning. All right. There we have it. Oh, cancel. World. Curious about this ship. Like, where's it going? Why is it going there? Did I move it? I didn't think I did. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did. Maybe I clicked on... I did. I'm... Get, yeah. <laughs> I moved the ship thinking I was moving the submarine. So, that's my fault. Not to worry. Okay. We'll just move that submarine up there just for fun. We'll move the Atlanta back to port. There we go. Just checking the fuel of this uh, ocean-going submarine for a little over half so yeah we got to be we got to be friendly here real soon with somebody in a friendly port so we can get some fuel all right nothing to do but next turn okay our fleet in the southeast asia has ticked off the german empire france is really admiring the power of our nation and wish to become our ally what is your opinion um see that that's a no-brainer perfect we now have an ally between us and france Close. And Greece signed with Spain. Tensions increase. Ooh, they they provoked us. They didn't like us for, for you know shooting down the our our alliance. Togo land. Okay, interesting. Oh, I knew it. Cuba's new leader. They want us to. Yes, we're gonna do it. Um, we got to get some shipping in here like right now. And I don't know where I have ships, so. That's a great thing for the Admiral to say, right? Move ships. I have ships in the area. I'm sure we can do this. How many? 124,000 tons. Great. Move ships. Probably going to take everything we have here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have every ship coming that we have in the entire region. What was that? Oh, okay. So, I hope it's enough. I'm kind of worried that it's not. We'll find out when everybody gets there and it does the math for me. Let's pull... I was thinking about pulling some shipping from Pearl. We are going to pull from Pago Pago. See if we can get there in time. Go. It's nice having the ditch open. All right. Looks like our submarine has rendezvoused with our fleet. That is great. Now let's move our fleet into uh, like one of these ports here to get fuel. If we can. I don't even know if we can. I don't think we need to be in the port. I just have to be really close to it, I believe. Looks like, actually, we've been getting fuel. Oh, well, maybe not. Some of these are still pretty low. Okay, and Germany was upset with us for being over here in the, uh, this region. Because we're actually, our fleet is up here. We have ships down here. But if they want to get mad, they can get mad. That's why, I'm, that's why I did it. <laughs> All right, but we're going to come back to Manila here with this fleet. Because they are also running low on fuel. So... We're going to cut right through them, get fueled up, and stand by for a fight. Let's check our politics tab. We are now allies with France, so yay. That is great. Germany, uh, they're, they're sinking, and so is the Soviet Union. Austro-Hungarians are pretty low as well. Finances, we are now plus $23 million per turn. Oh, and it's time to build a new shipyard build. Nah, that knocked it down quite a bit. Research. Torpedoes size is coming up. Boilers and destroyer design looks like going to be next gun layout. Ship design, nothing has changed. Fleet, we should. Yeah, no. There we are. Two more, two more months, two more turns, and those two uh, battleships that I have in the Philippine Sea and Southeast Asia will be ready to go. Four more turns, when plus their shakedown crews, uh, will be uh, all these light cruisers coming up. So that's great. Submarines, nothing has changed there. All right, let's do it. All right, Southeast Asia, Germany, they're they're losing uh, relationships with us. Yeah, cool. We got new fuel oil burners. We get a little bit better engine performance at a cost of fuel. Ouch. And engine cost per weight is 750%. Ouch. All right, we have 19-inch torpedo tubes now. 
That's great. France is hitting mines. Here's the British transport losses. I don't think we're on this list. I think they'd list us up on top. Canada signed with Japan. Are you kidding me? What do I got to do? All right. Major offensive German Empire is going up in Liberia against the British Empire. Now, I thought, didn't the Germans take that already? Okay. Maybe it was the British. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, Battle of Cuba. We lost 224 soldiers. We'll go check that out here in just a second. Make sure our fleet is doing good. Yep, it's heading down here. Perfect. This fleet right here, I'm hoping, is getting fuel. Let's check on them. Yes, they are. At least the submarine is getting fueled up. I would like to zoom in more. There we go. That way I can check. I'd like to check the other ships, please. Okay, I'm going to move that ship out of the way so I can see my other ships. And here we have our ships all coming in. To this conquest, we have 79,000 tons there already. And we got uh, this cruiser screaming in. Going to go through the Panama Canal. I do have some ships here in um, San Diego I could probably send down and around as well. I'll only do that as a last resort. Okay, so let's check the politics tab. Germany is slipping. So is uh, Russia. Other than that, not much has changed. Finances were plus 7 million we can probably start building more ships our research tab not much going on gun layouts coming up pretty soon explosives in two turns torpedo tubes in two turns submarine improvements in three turns and maneuver warfare in five. Oh, destroyer design we get a new destroyer design pretty soon ship design nothing has changed fleet nothing should have changed we got these white guys commissioning out one more turn and they're still building submarines. Of course, nothing has changed. Let's build a couple more submarines just for fun, though. We're going to build a coastal mine layer. We're going to build five of them. Build. We're going to set these in the east coast, one on the west coast, based on Seattle. We'll put one in the Philippines, put one in Puerto Rico, and we'll put one in, like, Florida area, Tampa. Well, like Pensacola. There we go. That way they can put some mines out. Uh, if we actually go to war and war comes to our our mainland. Perfect. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I do apologize. It's kind of a boring episode. I get that. Not a lot going on. Just kind of moving the chess pieces on the board. The thing that we are aiming for is to basically be the strongest military naval power on the planet. So keeping that in mind, uh, you know, things will heat up. Uh, we will be at war, probably with Germany before too long, the way things are going. And hopefully we'll be able to actually use some of these ships that we've been building and just kind of moving around. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode nonetheless. If you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Once again, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit that bell notification so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. Bye for now.